special edition. Today we're going to test out a set of Uber Turbine wheel covers for these 18 inch wheels on our Model 3 from EV Base. I've already reviewed an adapter from EV Base that co connects a Tesla destination charger to our Chevy Bolt. And so I contacted them as soon as we picked up this uh, Model 3, and they were kind enough to send me a set of Uber Turbine wheel covers for my 18 inch rims on this Model 3. What we're going to do is show you uh, what these wheel covers are, uh, what they look like, how to set them up, and we're going to do an efficiency test on these wheel covers to see if they impact the efficiency at all. Our Model 3 has the 18 inch rims and it has the aero wheel covers. This is basically the stock setup, the non upgraded setup if you were to have ordered a Model 3 uh, back in 2022, and I'm pretty sure it's the same way now. Uh, but our car from Hertz, since it's a decommissioned rental car, has all of this wheel rash because the wheel sticks out and every, every wheel is, is like this. This wheel cover doesn't cover that part, it just kind of goes up flush to it. So first off, let me show you the wheel cover. Uh, they shipped all four in a box, each one in its own individual box, protected in bubble wrap, protected uh, by plastic and a little bit of extra foam. Um, and this is what they look like. Uh, just seeing the whole wheel cover in the shot. Let me get the T right side up. And we're gonna show you a little bit about how we set that up. This foam centerpiece uh, protects the hub. We'll get it off. And this is what the wheel cover looks like. So the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna prep the surface because they gave us this uh, rubber strip right here, and that's going to go around the edge of the wheel cover. It's got this uh, lip right here that's going to go around the rim, and this will protect uh, the rim from any scratches. I'm going to just spray some alcohol. You might not need this, but I'm just going to spray a little alcohol on it and then wipe it off. Uh, just to make sure we don't have any oils or residue from manufacturing on it. to peel the backing just away from this foam just a little bit and Rachel's going to start uh, applying and I'm going to be pulling the paper this is you could do this as a one-person job uh, but there's two of us so we're doing it as two people depending on how you know meticulous you want to be I don't think it necessarily needs to be perfect but I find that if you do want it to be perfect you need to go pretty slowly um, to make sure that it's right up against the edge of this lip here not new we bought it used in case you have not seen the rest of our channel and if you're just watching this you'll the we, we bought these uh, we got these wheel covers uh, partly because we just like the look of them and also partly to actually cover up those edges um, that are uh, have a little rash all over those wheels um, you'll see that when we apply these so this is now ready to go in the car, so I'm going to flip it around and show you what it looks like. You can see it's got this um, big black circle here in the middle, because this is not a made by Tesla rim, and that looks a little plain. And the EV Base has available these logo caps. You can get them as a, just a straight up sticker that'll go there, or a vinyl that's just a T that can go there. This is an actual aluminum cap that is going to fit perfectly in this circle. So the first thing that I'm going to do, it's uh, because of shipping, it's got this plastic film over it. I'm going to take that off while Rachel preps the surface of the wheel cover. And that's to protect it, nice and shiny. Our car is red, so that's why we have the T, the red T. On the back, uh, if you see it, it's going to have this red, um, 
tape that's protecting the adhesive underneath. So I'm going to peel that off uh, very carefully. Let's get it started. There we go. And the Tesla wheel covers that we have on the car, that's the adhesive, the Tesla wheel covers that we have on the car have it lined up with the uh, where the valve stem goes. So we're going to take a tool just to make sure that we're straight. And when I say lined up, the tip of the T should point to the valve stem. That looks like we're set. Line it up right on the little pre-molded circle. Push it down. And now the center cap is in place. And now this rim wheel cover has a little bit more flare. It's ready to go on the car. If you would like to purchase a set of these wheel covers, you can find them at evbase.com. I'll have a link to the exact product down in the description. Plus, if you enter the promo code SPINNER, you'll receive a 20% discount off your purchase from EV Base. Now it's time for the efficiency test. We're going to leave here at Byron Stewart Park in Cleburne, Texas, and we're going to drive 18 miles west-southwest to the outskirts of Glen Rose, Texas. There's a highway here, US 67, that's a 65 or 70 mile an hour speed limit. I don't recall off the top of my head. I will set the car on its traffic aware cruise control and take us all the way down there at the speed limit to a 7-Eleven, which is going to be at the first traffic light 18 miles away. And then we're going to turn around at that 7-Eleven and come right back here. The whole round trip, according to Google Maps, is going to be about what, 18 plus 19, about 37 miles round trip. The car will tell us a little bit more accurately. Each time we're going to reset a trip odometer so we get a reading on the amount of watt hours per mile that the car takes. We're going to do all of these trips back to back to back. The first one is going to be with the aero wheel covers. After that, we're going to take these wheel covers off and just go with the stock rims, and then we'll put on the Uber Turbine wheel covers from EV Base. So let's get on the road and test these out. So I'm going to go into the cars menu, I'm going to go to trips, and I'm going to reset trip A. And now we're at zero miles, zero kilowatt hours, zero watt hours per mile. Let's get on the road. Speed limit is 65 miles an hour, so I've got the cruise set at 65. Traffic's only allowing us to go 60 at the moment, but there is the cruise control on. In fact, I'll just double click and let autopilot handle it from here. Coming to the ends of loop number one as we get back to Byron Stewart Park, also nicknamed Buddy Stewart Park. It says so right there. I don't know why, it but yes, right it's, yep. Mm -hmm. Byron Buddy Stewart Park. Let's take a look at our efficiency stats. Going into the menu, going to trips. Trip A, distance 38 miles, total energy 9 kilowatt hours. Average energy, 244 watt hours per mile. And I'll put the calculation for miles per kilowatt hour up here on the screen now. Now we're going to take the aero wheels off and see how we do with just the stock 18 inch rims. For our second loop on that exact same trip, 
we're going to take these aero wheel covers off and expose the regular rims underneath. To do that, you should just, you just pull and they reseal. <laughs> Come on. There we go. They make it look so easy on camera. There we go. Nice pull. And this is what the rims look like without the wheel cover on them. Now I'm going to get the other three off and we're going to get back on the road and do that loop again. So as we're starting uh, loop number two, uh, we've got the aero wheel covers off, the Tesla aero wheel covers, and we're just on the stock rims. We were at 244 watt hours per mile on the previous drive. It was 38 miles, 40 minutes. Going to go back into the menu, back to trips, reset trip A. Let's try that again. Reset trip A. Everything zeroed out. It is still 81 degrees outside. Climate is set at 71 and we will keep uh, the cruise on and the autopilot as best as possible as traffic allows. And let's see uh, if our efficiency is affected without having the aero wheel covers on this Model 3. Back on Highway 67 and we've got the cruise control set back at 65. Speed limit 65. Not everybody here is going the speed limit. A lot of people want to go faster, but we're, we're keeping it that way just for the sake of consistency on these loops. Uh, and we'll see what our efficiency is when we get back to the park. We're being invaded, or we're passing Jurassic Park, one of the, the two. dinosaurs are coming to get us. Pulling back up to our parking space at the park. And let's see uh, what the difference is between aero wheel covers and just the plain hubs. And right there, let's go into the trip and we can see it a little bit better. 38 miles, 10 kilowatt hours, 253 watt hours per mile. So that is an increase of nine watt hours per mile. We were at roughly 4.08 miles per kilowatt hour. It was like 4.09. Let me do let me do the math real quick. 237 miles of range for this car with just the stock rims. I'm divided by 0.244 times 60 compared to 245 with the aero rims. Basically taking those uh, aero wheel covers off and going with the stock rims cost us eight miles of range. For a full charge. For, uh, for a full charge. Yeah. So it's negligible, but there is a difference. One of the things that we noticed when I took the uh, aero uh, wheel covers off is that these rims are really dirty. And so before we put uh, a new set of uh, wheel covers on it. We're going to go run through a wash real fast and we'll get some of the dust off of it. We'll come back here to the park, put the EV base Uber turbine wheel covers on and do our loop one last time. So see, those wheels look really nice when they're clean, except for the curb rash. Now we're ready to put the EV base Uber turbine wheel covers on the car and try our loop one more time. Now, We've prepped this with the, the foam around the outside. We've put the, the logo cap in the middle. Last bit of prep we have to do is to take this piece of packing foam off. I left it there for transportation, so to, just for protection. And I did learn the hard way. You can get the, rim, the wheel caps on the rims with this here. It's just a lot of extra work, but <laughs> don't do it that way. Take them off. This is just supposed to be extra packing. Find the uh, 
cut out for the valve stem. Line that up with the valve stem on the tire. And just like that, they're on. That's all the harder it is to, to install these uh, wheel covers. And here's the important part. The important part for me right now, this extends over the edge of the wheel, so it, high, it covers that curb rash. And yes, I still have the curb rash, but now it's not out there for everyone to see at least. And the foam is gonna protect the wheel cover from the rim instead of the other way around. Now what we're gonna do is go on our same exact loop. We've had a temper variance of, temperature variance of like three degrees. It's been 81, 82, and I think right now it's 79. So temperature's not really gonna factor into it. Same exact road, same exact speed, same elevations both ways. Hopefully we'll have our regular parking spot back. We'll just come back to this parking spot, which is only 100 feet from, or maybe 50 yards from where we were before. Um, and we'll give you an update and see if these impact our efficiency at all. So I thought about going over to our other parking space, but I didn't want to creep the guy out. So I'm just going to start and end here. Uh, so we're going to go back into trips. We're going to reset trip A. Had some extra miles because of the going to the car wash. Once again, everything is zeroed out. Off we go on our loop. Temperatures drop down to 78 degrees, but not that much of a variance. Uh, so I don't know if it'll, I doubt that it'll uh, have much effect on the temperature. We want to see if these uh, wheel covers affect our efficiency. So pulling out of uh, the park on our last loop. We are back on the highway. Cruise set at 65. And we're off. We are going to turn around right here. And I do remember, and right now it's back up to 83 degrees, so so much for that temperature variation I was talking about. We're right at about the same temperature we've been all day. We're getting ready to get back out onto the freeway, and I remember we were at 260 watt hours per mile. We're at 244 right now. And that back at this halfway point. We were at 260 when we when we did this uh, with just the rims and no wheel covers at all. I don't remember what we were at with the aero uh, wheel covers, but we're definitely doing better than we did with uh, no wheel covers at all. So the final thoughts on these EV Base Uber Turbine wheel covers, they look really good on the car. They do a good job. They cover up the, the curb rash, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We look like we've got a nice clean car. Uh, and in terms of efficiency, they fell right in between the Tesla Aero wheel covers and no wheel covers at all. Uh, we're still able to get four miles per kilowatt hour on highway driving when it's in the lower 80s. Uh, so without an effect on range, I'm probably gonna keep them on the car. If you like these and you'd like a set of them for your own Model 3 or your own Model Y, you can get them on EV Base. I'll have the link in the description. And remember, if you enter my promo code SPINNER, you'll receive a 20% discount from EV Base. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you found it informative. We'll have some more content coming for you soon.